So as you know, I had a problem with collimating the telescope. So I decided to investigate it a little further. And I've taken out the secondary mirror. It's held in here by a retaining ring. You remove the retaining ring and then you remove the three knobs here. In the center of the mirror is a small pivot screw and around the pivot screw is one of these rubber gaskets and the rubber gasket that I had on there was very flat. It had been squished down to the point where it wasn't elastic enough to make the collimation possible. So I marked the screw with a black dot where it would not adjust anymore and I went to my local hardware store and I bought some new rubber o-rings and I took the old one with me and then I measured it against several new ones and I decided to buy several of them just to make sure that I got the right size and thickness and then what I did is I installed that rubber o-ring on there it has a little divot there and it fits there. And then what I did is just reinstall the screws, not even tight, just to be right up close. And then now when I'm ready to do the collimation, I can adjust it a little bit better. And of course the collimation doesn't take but a little bit of adjustment on each of the different screws so I'm going to do that and we will see what the results are one thing I want to tell you is you know the the mirror is very very fragile and very sensitive so always handle it back away from the mirror itself and if you do get a spot on it use a very very mild fiber cloth and some alcohol and that will remove any uh, schmutz from the mirror itself so let's go ahead and we'll stick it back in the scope and get the artificial star up and running and see whether or not we can get this thing to collimate again